You're supposed to be depressed. You're supposed to be depressed. Why would you not be? Why would you not be? What have you done to like earn some happiness? Think Think about this. What have you done to earn some happiness? What have you done to earn some contentment or some gratification in your life? If you're drinking, if you're drinking alcohol is literally classified as drug classification is a depressant. It's literally a chemical depressant. So if you're drinking, there you go. There you go. Automatically. It's a depressant. Why are you depressed? You're ingesting depressants every day. Bam. Done. There it is. On top of that, man. People, people like, they eat for happiness and they don't realize, like, like all of those calories, all of those carbohydrates and fats, that's energy. That's literally, physically, fuel. Like, what did, what did you do with it? What did you do with that fuel? Nothing. You're just storing it. If you're just storing it, you're holding on to shit that you don't need. Like, physically. Think about what if you are a child living inside your own head. You feed yourself all this shit. You don't take yourself nowhere. You don't do nothing. You don't exercise. How do you think that kid is going to feel? How do you think you're going to feel about yourself treating your kid like that? I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel very good if I, if I fed my kid trash, made him sit on the couch all day. I wouldn't feel bad about myself. You know, how do you think that kid is going to feel? Anxious, depressed, restless, nervous? We're not meant to be sedentary, like... Of course we're depressed. Like we didn't stretch. We're literally compressed. Our spines are compressed. Our glutes are atrophied for sitting on our ass all day. Of course we're depressed, anxious, nervous, scared, lonely. Lonely. Why are we so lonely? Because we don't make ourselves valuable. Check this out. Most people go into all their relationships conditionally. They'll give this if they get that. They'll give what they think the other person wants if they'll get what they think they want in return. They look at relationships like a bank account, like like it's an investment, like it's a contract, like it's a condition, conditional, transactional, like it's a transaction. Like, okay, I'll give you, I'll give you time, you give me affection. I give you affection, you give me time, you give me attention. When you're really valuable to the people around you, you don't have to worry about the transaction or the conditions. Like, they will seek you out. Like, give to people without expecting shit from them. Expect, like, reasonable shit, you know? Like, don't expect people to make you happy. If, if you don't like spending time alone, why would you want somebody else to spend time with you? They're going to be just as miserable around you as you are with yourself. You're supposed to be depressed if you're living like that. All that shit I just described, if that resembles your lifestyle, you're supposed to be depressed. It's not a big mystery. It's not a chemical fix for you. But I don't say that to just, you know, I don't say that just to talk trash and then move on like, like I found the solution in my life. I know it works for me, like, I just did 500 burpees, I feel fucking amazing. Like, after two, at 200, I'm like, why am, why did I say I'm going to do this? I don't even know if I can make it through this right now. I didn't bring no water with me. Like, I, I want to quit, you know, but I didn't quit, you know? Yeah, I, I felt like I was going to freaking fall out, and I kept pushing through. And, um, bam, there's your chemical balance right there. Your body, your, your body is 
an amazing machine. Like it, it has everything that it needs to heal itself and balance itself out. You just have to literally do the work. Blood flow, circulation, man, it's it's huge. A lot of brain problems are due to a lack of circulation. The brain problems are often uh, vascularity problems, like blood flow problems. Like get some blood flow to your brain, like it helps. Like don't don't eat all these carbs and fats, junk food, and then think that, you know, and then do absolutely nothing with all that energy and then wonder why you feel like trash, like you're treating your body like a dumpster and your your body knows this and you're the one wondering, like, oh, why do I feel like shit? You know, it, it's interesting because we become adapted to that. We become adapted to that to a certain degree, like. It's amazing, like, for me, like, trying to go back, like, it sucks. It sucks really bad. If I eat, like, really greasy foods and shit, oh, I feel like shit. But, um. Yeah, man. Like, it's not, you're not special. Like, you're not special. It's not something crazy going on with you. If you're depressed and you treat yourself like shit, that's why you're depressed. Like, you should do everything in your power to, like, heal yourself first before you, like, wonder. Or expect, like, other people to, like, expect society to be sensitive to your needs and you're not sensitive to your own needs. Expect society to be sensitive to your to your condition, your, your illness. Like, we, a lot of our illnesses we cause ourselves. like I've been there bro I've been there like it's not society's responsibility it's not your partner's responsibility it's not your mama's job to make sure that you're feeling okay today that's your job bro that's your your mental health is first and foremost your responsibility like you should do everything in your power to manage it manage it well if, uh, if, you know, if you have a a clean diet, exercise, healthy relationships around you and you still have mental health, health issues, now you, now you might have a problem like that you really might can seek some help. But if you're not doing these things to support a healthy life, like mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, you can't expect a different result. Reach out to me if, reach out to me anytime. Much love and respect, y'all. I gotta go.